Hey, it's Josh here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a logo or text cutout effect in Divi. And what we're gonna do is create this look here to where you can see I have my logo and some text that's cut out of the section behind it so that the video behind this is popping through. Now this came as, this effect came as a request from somebody recently who referenced this site and wanted to create that same look to where there is a logo and behind it is a video that's kind of popping through and you can see this nice cutout effect. Now, first off, let's just acknowledge that there are plenty of people still limping with the biscuit and this brings me right back to eighth grade because they actually have a pretty cool site and they are still going. So. If you want, go ahead and turn on some Limp Biscuit and have some fun during this tutorial because we are gonna create this effect. I think it's actually pretty cool and there's a lot of different ways you can use this on projects moving forward. Now, on the Limp Biscuit site, if I move my cursor around here, you can see that this is kind of a full image and we're gonna kind of take that idea but we're gonna expand on it because we're gonna create the same look that I have here. Now, the Biscuit site looks a little better just because it's got more movement in the video, the video is darker, but the same effect here is, is right here to where the logo is cut out. And we're gonna take it one step further with doing text. I'm also gonna show you how to do this with an image. So you can create this look to where it's very similar, but instead of a video behind there, it is an image. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First things first, I'm using the Visual Builder of Divi. And I think what we'll start out with is to do the video background. So first things first, in the very back section, I'm gonna go into my settings and I'm gonna go into my background and we're gonna place a video in there. Now I have a video that I brought over from my business site in Transit Studios, which is the one you saw here, which is just myself and my office. So we're gonna use this as the background video. Now the next thing that we need to do is, I think we'll go ahead and place that logo. So let's add first off, a row, we're just gonna do a simple row and we're gonna use the image module. And I will show you how to do this with text as well, but first things first, we're gonna use the image module and we're gonna place my logo. Now this is really important. Any elements that you want to have the same look here where it's completely cut out will need to be black. And it needs to be black because it's gonna need to cut out uh, in full transparency. If you do like a gray, or a different color, it's not going to be completely cut out. Now you could do that, but in this case, we're gonna use this one. So I'm gonna upload my logo there. Okay, cool, and then uh, I tell you what, before we do the text, let's go ahead and make sure this looks good first. Now here's the trick. There's a few different ways you could go about this, but what I've found best to achieve this effect here is to put this kind of transparent white background in the module. You don't wanna do it in the section because the video is going to override it. So we need to put this background into the module. So let's add a color and we're gonna do that white. Let's take the opacity down so it's right about there. Okay, cool. Now that's all well and dandy, but there's a lot of empty space around it. So we need to adjust a few other settings. We're gonna go into design. We're going to go to sizing. Let's make this full width and looking better, but still some padding we need to adjust there. So we wanna control the gutter width, and we're gonna take the gutters all the way in, which is gonna bring that completely left and right to the screen. We are gonna equalize our column heights just to make sure everything's centered. Okay, cool, we're off to a good start. And then the last thing that we need to do is you'll see that this row, the green, only goes up this far, so there's still some space there. So what I'm gonna do is we'll go to the blue, I'm gonna hold down Shift and Option on Mac, I'm gonna bring this in so that this is gonna take up the full window. So yeah, that's looking good. And at this point, it is looking good, but we can see that we want some more padding there. That looks really tight. So what we're gonna do is go to the green now. Same thing, hold Shift and Option. And let's drag this down. Shift and, Alt and Option will move the top and the bottom. If I didn't hold those, it's only gonna move the top. So I wanna move the top and bottom to something like that. Looking good, looking really good. Now we're getting close, but you can see this isn't quite cut out yet. So before I even do that, I feel like this is a little big, stretching from left to right. So let me just go into the design of the image. Let's center that, and let's just adjust the sizing. Let's bring that in just a little bit. Yeah, that looks cool right there. All right, so we are really close, but we can see this black logo still is not cut out. So the way we can do that is we wanna cut this logo out of the white area. We don't wanna cut it out of the actual video, and there's nothing to cut it out with the actual image module itself, so we're gonna wanna adjust the settings in the row, the green module. So check this out. This is where it gets really fun and really cool. Let's go to design, and each row in Divi, 
with a lot of the new features they've added have filters. So I can go into this filter and I can do a lot of adjustments here, but I want to give this a blend mode. Blend mode is going to do a lot of different crazy things. And here's where you could kind of poke around with this. You can try it out. Lighten actually uh, seems to work pretty well. That actually took it out. So we could potentially use that. Color dodge, if we try that, might do some funky things. Let's try hard light. That's not gonna work. Soft light, maybe, that looks pretty cool. But uh, lighten actually seemed to work the best. Now you could also do screen. Screen and lighten have almost the same effect uh, with a, a dark logo. So I'm gonna keep it on screen just because I like that and that's what I did previously. I don't think lighten really does too much else. Although that looks pretty good too. So either either blend mode looks like this, it'll work in this case, lighten or screen. And there you go. That has completely chopped and cut out that logo from the white background here. Now let's add some text. So we're gonna do a text module below it. And let's do text and let's just call this, what did I call this previously? Nifty cut out text. We'll do that. And then let's just style this just a little bit for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, let's give this kind of a bolder font. Arial, yeah, let's give it, let's make it bold. And let's center this as well. Okay, now it's centered. And last thing that we wanna do is just adjust the text size. So we're gonna bring this up. Yeah, and that looks pretty good there. Now you will wanna adjust this for mobile as well because this is gonna be really big on mobile. So I have a tutorial that I'll link below on my side, but you could go into the mobile settings and adjust this. And the last thing I wanna do just real briefly is it's really close because I adjusted the gutter width on there. So let's just add some padding to the top of the text module. Let's give this like 30 and that'll bring it down a little bit. There we go. And there we go, guys, there is the effect. So very similar to what I created here to where again, the original idea was uh, from this Limp Biscuit site where there is a logo that is cut out of the background and behind that background is showing the video. So again, video is not quite, it doesn't show through quite like that, but you can use this effect on several different things. You could use it in, in a ton of different ways. So that is exactly how you create this effect. Now I did promise you that I would show you how to do it with an image as well. So let's do that. And just so we have some room to scroll down, let's replicate that. If you didn't see what I did there, I just went up here and clicked the duplicate icon there. So now we can have even more fun with this by adding, instead of the video background here, let's take that out, let's add an image. So I'm gonna add an image from my library. Let's do the one that I showed you on the example page, there we go. So automatically it's got that same white opaque look there, which looks pretty cool. But one thing that's really great about this is that you can change your colors and you can change your blend mode if you want to as well. So let's go into the row module settings again, where that color is. And instead of white, let's choose maybe like a, uh, like a brighter color there. Yeah, something like that. I think that's about what I had previously. So we'll go, yeah, maybe something like that. We could even brighten it up a little bit. We wanted something really uh, kind of funky and wacky there or kind of retro. So that's exactly how you'll go about that. Now, one thing I just noticed, uh, and it may be because of the blend mode, but see how this text is different? It's because this text is not black, and that's what I meant by adjusting the text color. So check this out, it's kind of a gray. You can see it is cutting through, but not all the way. So let's go in here, let's go to the text color, and watch this, watch the text change. Boom. As long as it's all the way black, it's going to cut out completely from that section. And again, guys, you can just play around with this. You can go into your row module settings and you can go into your filters and you can choose some different blend modes. So let's see if screen looks different. Yeah, barely. Very similar to lighten, but you could get really crazy. You could go with a lot of different crazy stuff and you can create a lot of cool effects like that too, depending on what projects you're working on if you wanna do something really cool and retro and kind of wacky. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys this uh, quick little tutorial on how to utilize a cutout effect. And what's really cool about this is once you have your blend mode set in the row, anything you add to the row will have that effect. So you can do this with icons, buttons. Um, if, you, if you need to add any elements to this row that don't have this effect, it's gonna be a little more tricky because again, anything you add to this row that's inside the green, because it's set as full width, it will have this effect. But if you're going for something like this, or if Limp Biscuit reaches out and wants you to replicate this, 
now you know how to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Check out the page link below for all the resources and details on this. But yeah, guys, hopefully you are fully empowered to make some really cool logo and text cutouts for your Divi sites moving forward.